Hey there everybody, it's your boy Chili. Let's take a look at the solution to the tutorial 9 homework. Now the job that we have in front of us is to make a class for the dude and maybe to move one more function out of game and into poo. So, first things first, let's make the class for the dude. Project, add new item. I'm gonna add a header file, dude.h, and we're gonna make our class, so. So we make our class, we make the members public, and feel a little dirty doing so. We create some variables for the x and the y position of the dude, and we can get away with setting these right here inside the class, because there's only one dude, so we can it's just going to be set to a single value here. And we set up the constants for the width and height of the dude. Now, even though there's only going to be one dude, so there's not so much benefit in making it static, it's still better to do it this way. Now there are two functions that are being run on the dude that are candidates for uh, inclusion into the class and those are the clamp screen functions. So we can go into the dude class and create a function clamp to screen and if we click on this light bulb here we can create the definition in dude.cpp and it will create that file for us and add it to the project and also include dude.h and put this. It does a lot of stuff for us, it's really good. We can click this little icon here to promote to a full document and now we want to get the code for clamp to screen. So we'll go to game.cpp, we'll find clamp to screen, x and y, we'll copy and paste that bullshit. Now we want do.cpp and go back to game.cpp, find this one, copy that, paste it in. And now we just gotta f fuck around with some numbers here. So here we don't want to return a value, we want to set dudes x directly, so we just go x equal to zero. And we have to delete that return statement. Here we go x equal to this thing here, and at the bottom we just do nothing. So we can just delete this altogether. We do the same for the y component, and we also have to fix up this screen width screen height bullshit because we don't have access to the graphics object. So we're going to get at it through the graphics class because it's a static member. We can go graphics like this, but the one thing is that this file doesn't know about graphics yet. It doesn't know about the class, so we have to go include graphics.h and that will make this all good. And if we go down here, we can go down to this one and this one, and this one, and now it should all be fine. Now we can go into game.h, we don't need clamped screen x, clamped screen y anymore. And we don't need these functions anymore. Wow, oh, fuck, I just, I've unleashed the crack in here. It's collapsed to definitions, there we go. Alright, so, now, we've got to go into game.h, where is it, there it is. And we don't need all this bullshit in here, now all we need is a dude. First we gotta let game.nh know about dudes. So we include dude.h here, and now we can declare a dude down here. And now we can look forward to fixing a bunch of bullshit in game.cpp. So, where are the bullshits? Nah, it's not there. Update model, there's gonna be some bullshit here. Uh, dude x, dude y, this is going to be replaced with dude dot clamp to screen, much nicer. Uh, but we got to fix all these bullshits here. So we can do find and replace for the dude x to dude dot x. And we do the same find and replace bullshit for all the other dude variables and we get this. And it's all working. It should compile, I believe. And it does compile fine. So that is our dude class all set up. Now, the second little challenge I gave you was maybe in game.h there is another function that could be moved into poo. And that function, in my opinion, is the is colliding function. Because if we go into here, first of all, in is colliding, we're passing it a fuck ton of variables. And we could reduce the number of stuff we have to pass to it if we make it a member function of one of our uh, classes. And the other thing is it also has to set uh, the is eaten variable equal to true. And we could do this inside the member function. And then we wouldn't need to have this if here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, poo.h and we're going to add another one. We're going to call this one, because this isn't just a test, it's also setting something. So we're going to call this one void process consumption. And now we got to pass it some data so it knows where the dude is. So we're going to go back to game.h. We're going to look at is colliding and yeah, we'll just take these ones here. Put that there. So this is going to be the parameters for the dude. I'm just going to rename them quickly. And finish it off with a semicolon. Don't put the L there. Don't fuck. There we go. And we should get a light bulb over here sometime. Maybe. Light bulb, please. Thank you. And we're going to create the definition here. We'll promote that to a document. And now we want to take the body of the old function, which is going to be in game.cpp is colliding and we're just going to copy and paste that into the body of our new function here and now we got some renaming to do because I wanted to rename this stuff. So I rename all this bullshit here to match the, the uh, parameters that are passed in and to match the member variables of poo and then I got to rename this one down here as well. Like this and finally we're not returning a value here. This isn't just a straight test. We are going to take some action depending on this uh, expression here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this return and replace it with an if. So here, if they are overlapping, we just set is eaten equal to true. Now we can go into uh, game.h. We can get rid of is colliding. Game.cpp and we can get rid of this from here. And again, we've released the Kraken, collapsed the definitions, and then we're going to go to update model, and we can replace all this dumb bullshit here with this much sexier code right here. Pretty good, don't you think? I'd say it's at least a half chub. And I think that'll about do it for our modifications here. Just quick check, we'll build this, make sure I didn't fuck anything up. It does indeed build correctly and run it, and... Yeah, same old G, it's all good, all right. So that's the, uh, that's the solution to the tutorial nine homework, and I will see you soon with some more C++.